I feel that iPads are improving the experience here at Walter State because a lot of students don't learn by listening to the instructor. So for them to get that hands-on experience of being able to manipulate things and touch things that may not be available to them in other ways, it helps them to retain the information a little better. And also, just the experience of using technology is very important, I think, in the work field because everything is moving more uh, towards the technological aspect. So the more experience they get here, the better off they will be prepared in the future. I use iPads frequently in the classroom. I always have mine, and mine is always used for lecturing. So I'll use it to bring up PowerPoints, to bring up videos, and sometimes even as a document camera if I'm wanting to show them something, a paper that I have, or especially when we're dissecting and I want to let them see what I'm dissecting. So I'll use it as all that. Um, I bring iPads into the classroom with the iPad cart. Um, they always, students always take their exams using iPads, which is great for me and great for them. This means I don't have to grade them, and it means that they get instantaneous results, which we've all been student. We've all left the classroom wondering how well they you did on that test. We take all of our exams on the iPad, so we get to kind of get instant feedback on our tests, which I really like because I know exactly what I made before I leave the classroom. You know, when I'm taking the test, I mean, um, it's kind of easier to focus on them. Um, you know, it's, that's the funny thing, you know, whenever, I, whenever I've taken a test on the uh, 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 iPad, I mean, I've seemed to do better than on paper. I don't know why, it's just that's what I've noticed. I use them to take all of my tests, both lecture and lab. I also use the iPads to review for tests. We have a, an interactive website game called Kahoot that I bring the iPads in and the students use those as an answer kiosk to answer the questions. I also have used the iPads for uh, interactive activities like Bayboard and also for apps that allow them to test their senses and things like that for a biology lab. And I also like to bring in iPads to let the students play, I guess, something other than listening to me talk for an hour. So two of my favorite things to do are Kahoot. Kahoot is, I use it as a review tool, so students get to answer questions and compete against each other. We all know how much students love to compete against each other. And probably my favorite app to use in the classroom is called Bayboard. And with Bayboard, it's basically a whiteboard. So everything that the students put on their iPad comes to the screen. So everyone in the classroom can see it. And I really like Bayboard because then I can let students test each other. So if I ask them a question about chemistry and they have to draw out structures, then after we're done, I'll have them go back in and look over their neighbor's results and grade them. Did they do it correctly? Explain why they did it incorrectly. And in my mind, if, it's, if you can do that, if you can teach someone else or if you can find their errors and explain to them, you understand the material. And that's the ultimate goal, is for them to understand the material. I think with Kahoot, it's nice that you can actually get practice before you take the exams. You kind of get those exam-like questions before actually having to have it count for something. And then it's also kind of competitive, which I like, because you kind of compete with your table or whoever you're around, and then you get to see who's ranked in the top five, and you want to make sure that you get that. That way you can have that self-pride. And we have especially in the science building in on our cart we have a ton of really cool science apps i mean we can if we're talking about the body we have an app that we can have them basically dissect a body so they can zoom in on the parts and even pull them out of virtually obviously pull them out and look at them and learn all the different parts how are you going to get that if I'm doing a drawing on the board or I'm having them do a drawing on a piece of paper? You're not going to get the same thing. So adding that in is 
adding a different aspect that they normally don't get in the classroom. I am excited about the mobilization efforts that Walter State has done with the iPads and with the other technology tools that we have. They're never going to need paper and pencil again. Now if they want to take notes, they can use a stylist and take them on the iPad, always be able to take their exams, always be able to record anything that they need, and a limitless form of apps that could help with anything and everything. So I really don't think there's a limit to what we can accomplish with technology in the classroom.